Garrett Morgan, the son of freed slaves, was a man of many inventions. Where some may have seen problems, Morgan saw solutions. That was the case when he saw firefighters choking on smoke. It inspired him to create a protective mask. The result was a so-called safety hood. Morgan filed for a patent in 1912, and it was granted on October 13th, 1914. Two years later, Morgan's invention got national attention when he used it himself to help rescue workers trapped inside a collapsed tunnel. Not long after, the canvas hood with two tubes was drawing inquiries not only from fire departments across the country, but also the United States military. During the First World War, chemical weapons terrorized the Western Front. Clouds of mustard gas, phosgene, and chlorine creeped among the trenches, deforming and killing along the way. So when the U.S. got involved in the war, they turned to Morgan's safety hood. It was modified slightly. Morgan's invention was more inclined to protect against smoke inhalation, as opposed to gas but its basic principles were instrumental in guiding the creation of the Army Issue gas mask. The gas mask would command some of World War I's most striking and memorable images. Apocalyptic in appearance, signaling to the rest of the world the horrors of the first modern war. Gas attacks accounted for thousands of deaths on the Western Front. But were it not for the gas mask, it would have been thousands more. Practically every country in Europe today is exploring means of combating the terrible effects of gas attacks. Here we see Signor Mussolini and his cabinet ministers watching with keen interest demonstrations of chemical warfare near Rome. Chemical weapons attacks did not end with World War I. They'd be featured prominently in the many wars and conflicts to follow, making Garrett Morgan's breakthrough all the more significant. A properly cared for mask may someday save your life. Take care of your mask, and it will take care of you.